but Allah gave me a daughter. And I remember being in that hospital and I never told no one, Mikey, you know. It was throughout Ramadan. My wife gave birth on Eid. On Eid, bro. So imagine throughout Ramadan, everyone's fasting. No one knew my wife was pregnant, by the way. I kept it away from my whole family, even my mother. I was scared of evil eye. <laughs> Bear in mind, okay, people could give you evil eye, okay, my wife could get a miscarriage. So I said to myself, I ain't telling her no so. One. So I said to myself, bam, my wife gives birth on, on, on Eid. All my family's together. My sisters come down from Birmingham, from Manchester with their kids. They all at my mama's house. They're like, where's Eamon? I FaceTime them. Salam alaikum alaikum salam. Eid Mubarak, doing all of that. Like, said, where are you? <laughs> exactly, where are you? When are you bringing your family to us? I said, everyone, there's someone that I would like you to introduce to the family. And I did that. I showed the camera down to my baby. Everyone's going mad on me. Why didn't you tell her? My mom was a bit upset, yeah. but I had to show her why. Like, I was scared of Eve White. And plus, my mother knew that I wanted a child, yeah? So I didn't want to bring her hopes up. And then Just there's a miscarriage. Something happens. You understand where I'm coming from? And I don't want my mom to have that suffer because she's buried kids as well. So I kept it to myself. But the relationship that my mother's had with my daughter, oh, different. Wallahi, man. It's not as strong as the relationship my daughter has with my dad. But the relationship my mother had with my daughter, bro. Like, till now, she goes to me like, I miss grandma. And it breaks me, man. And she goes to me like, she's in a better place. And sometimes she can see it on my face. Like, I'm, I've been crying or I'm hurting. And she goes to me, Daddy, it's okay. Daddy, it's okay. You could cry with me. And, but only recently, like a week ago, she said something, man. Like, yeah, she said, she said, I can't wait for Eid. Because every Eid we used to come together, have a picnic in the park. Yeah. Doesn't give, uh, we don't care about the weather. It could be raining, picnic yeah. in the park, bro. Because it's Eid, bro. It's a celebration. Then my daughter goes to me, Daddy, this Eid is going to be different. I'm like, why, Baba? Because cause Grandma's not going to be there. It hurts, man. It hurts, man, because she's had a memory with my mother. And I used to take her to my mom's house like nearly every weekend or every other weekend because we live far. So I'll come down to South East and we just have, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes we stay there, we sleep over there, we have that relationship. But I message to everyone as well, man. Appreciate what you have, man. And you know what? In English, have a beautiful saying. They say, you don't know what you have till it's gone. Yeah. And you know this yourself, man. Look how much people come in and out of our lives. But your parent, you only get one of them.